I'm sitting here in the reading room at Parliament House Brisbane where just a few months ago something rather unusual happened. The Liberal National Party, the Australian Labor Party and the Independents in our Parliament agreed to put to you, the people of Queensland, uh, the decision on whether or not the Parliament should move towards fixed four-year terms. Now we've got those in local government, we've had those here in Queensland for uh, almost 20 years uh, where our local government have fixed four-year terms. Most of the other state governments have fixed four-year terms. It provides an aura of certainty to allow governments to plan and to put their programs out without the uncertainty of when an election is going to be called and whether it will be called at short notice. The S Committee includes the Chamber of Commerce and Industry which uh, point out the benefit for certainty for business in Queensland. The Queensland Council of Unions, uh, which say that for employees it's good to have a stable business environment that has certainty around election dates, providing secure employment. And the Queensland Tourism Council, which uh, points out the obvious uh, ability that it gives them to plan tourism events, conferences, conventions, so much more um, easily when they know what the election cycle is and when the election date will fall. So the referendum is being held on local government election day on March 19. I'd urge you to consider voting yes for the referendum question. It will mean more certainty for Queensland, more certainty for Queenslanders and a government that is better able to serve its community by planning in such a considered and well organised way.